So, I'm not gonna lie, the thought process to, uh, that led me to wanting to make this build is kind of odd and very much all over the place and has very little to anything to do with this knife beyond basic concept of fighting knife. But how I got to it is not important. But the main thing is, is I want to make a kind of a basic fighting knife. I mean, most of the stuff I make is uh, not usually super intricate. You know, you're not gonna see it in an anime by any means. But, you know, usually it's not simple, I guess. I mean, some kind of are, but anyway, not important. What I want to do is just make just kind of a simple, straightforward fighting knife. You know, you know straight blade, simple edge, simple point, fairly basic handle, handle, integral guard, you know, stuff like that. So, I have this chunk of leaf spring here. It's actually a lot thinner than what I'm used to. I'm used to those, like, you know, quarter inch thick, or probably close to half inch thick. 3 eighths half inch thick. This is some, have something much smaller. Uh, some I have are things like truck leaf springs. This is maybe a small car. I don't know. I got it at a, not at, even at an auction. It was a, basically a bunch of boxes stuff had a bunch of scraps left over and then I knew the people who were doing it. They just let, you know, if it's here, we want it gone, take it. So I have a bunch of scrap steel off of that. So that's what this is. My basic plan is I'm going to hammer down half of it into my handle, the other half into my blade. Pretty typical. Again, I want an integral guard, so I'm going to have a little bit here at the front. It's not both, it's just going to be a little bit at the front, so you know, if you thrust it into something, you know, your hands are going to slide forward and you slice your hand. Because, you know, your thrust is only as good as your guard or your grip is, so guards are very important. But uh, my goal to make it make the blade under five inches, or probably about five inches, which is actually... You know, if you have like a pocket knife, it's fairly long. For a fixed bladed knife, it's about an inch short. Most of them seem to be about six inches long or so. But uh, five inches is the legal concealed carry length, you know, for my state without a license. Which, you know, that's not really important. You know, a lot of people think it's under three inches. And in some places it is. Some places they don't even have a legal concealed carry length for a knife. But where I live, it's five inches without a license with some other things. But if it's just a plain fixed blade knife, it's five inches. So that's kind of my goal. Although when I cut the piece of steel, one side had a little hole for the stack to be bolted together. The other side had the center hole. So this was as long as I could make it. And I didn't realize how short it was gonna be. But I think once I trim it down, you know, my handle is gonna be probably about this much steel and the guards probably, or the, you know, little guard and then the press is gonna be set. Yeah. You know, I'm just gonna quit talking and just start hammering.
Okay, I have the rough forging done, and this is a little different than what I had in mind, but I kind of like the shape a little bit. So I'm just gonna kind of go with it. Of course, grind it, smooth out a lot of the rough edges, flatten everything out so it's not the crunchy forged look. Usually I go for that, I kind of like the look, but for this, I, I don't know, actually. Now that I'm looking at it, I might go for the crunchy look. Might look cool. No, I probably won't. I'll just, you know, if I leave it crunchy, I'll leave it crunchy, you know. Uh, I'll, I'll just have that as I'm going. But uh, I still wanna kinda grind it out a little bit to have this a little more pronounced, and of course have it come up here. Realistically, the guard kinda does already what it's, what I want it to do is where it like stops your hand as you like thrust it into something. Realistically, unless you're getting into like a sword fight or something, a guard to block other blades isn't strictly necessary. And let's be real, with a knife, it's a lot less likely to happen. And uh, I wouldn't try and block a knife with another knife. I would probably dodge it or try and run away. Seriously, don't get knife fights. It's not a good idea. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna start grinding it and drill some holes here for a, hand for a handle and then get ready to heat treat it. Okay, that's actually coming along very nicely. Um, I drilled in a couple of pinholes. I don't really film that. I'm sorry for not filming it because, you know, drilling through metal is, for me, always a tedious thing. It's not hard. It seems like I never get to go right the first time I had to fight with it. It didn't happen this time. It actually went quite beautifully. But uh, there's no lighting over my drill is. I can see because I have good eyesight, but the camera won't pick up crap. So I don't film it. Anyway, I wasn't quite expecting to have this kind of like, you know, more modern Tanto shape. I mean, it's a little more rounded and thicker than most, but not quite that in mind, but I still like it. I love the shape. It's kind of swaying around a little bit. It's gonna get a pretty good thrust with it with this uh, little guard here. I'm not quite certain how I'm, how I'm gonna have the handle shaped on here yet. I probably won't have it go beyond the guard. And if I do, it won't be very much. It definitely won't cover the whole thing because I like the way it looks just sticking out a bit. But uh, getting a little ahead of myself, now I have to uh, heat treat it and temper it. Normalizing first. I don't film the first and last one of those because they're boring and kind of hard to film. Because, yeah, you can't really see it change color very well. Anyway, I will uh, I'll get back to you. Okay, so as you see, I'm currently inside because it is cold out and gonna get colder and uh, glue does not dry very well in the cold, so I'm inside. I basically have these two hickory scales, holes drilled in to match up those. Got some brass pins here. I'm gonna have through those holes, all held together using JB Weld. Stuff works great. Yes, my desk is a mess. Um, I'm not planning on filming this, not because I didn't intend to, or I think it's boring, even though it is, but, uh, I forgot my tripod out in the shop, and it's cold, and everything's locked up, and I don't want to go back out to grab them, and, yeah, there's really not much to film. Basically, imagine me mixing this up, smearing it all over this, 
sticking this on, putting some more on the pins and shoving them through. And then clamping it down and waiting for the next day. Then you basically have an idea of what I'm doing. Okay, now that I have my uh, two uh, eh, sorry. About now that I have my two uh, scales glued on, nice pins in the middle, I base it to shape them, and I find the fastest way possible is to take a handsaw, like this ancient one, cut slits in it, take a chisel, chisel off a bunch, then just take a ferris rasp, which I don't know where one is right off the bat. Oh, they're there, they're across my shop, go figure. Then just take those, file things down, and then finish off with a belt sander. Let's go.